Hello everyone, what's up? Well, I finally got the Brackies, so let's have a look at them. So before I do that, I'll give you an awesome review for E-Man. Uh, great guy to talk to. He actually personally delivered uh, my Brackies to me since uh, his workplace isn't very far from where I live. So he spent about an hour after work. We we're talking about all the tarantulas. Uh, he's very impressed with my collection. Uh, he did have some couple suggestions uh, for especially for my bird eaters, uh, like my Pampabedius uh, platyama, my Zenithus imanus, and also my P. platyamas who never use um, EcoWorth because apparently they have a lot of acidity, so it's not a good idea for them. So, you know, like, I'll take his word for it because I've seen a lot of his collections on pictures and I've seen his bracket palmas, uh, the ones he showed me, the ones that he didn't have for sale, and they were unbelievably big. So let's have a look at what I got and I'll show it to them. Oh right, so one of them is a hybrid. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So I guess we'll start off with the smallest one. Alright, this one here is an Aphonopelma Calcotes Desert Blonde. I wanted to get one because I couldn't pass this on this offer. Um, as you know, Aphonopelma Calcotes is very, very rare in collections. And, uh, you know, I always treasure Marilyn because uh, she was one of the first uh, tarantulas I ever bought when I started this hobby. She was actually the third one in my collection. Uh, that I originally started and she's living now she's like 20 22 years old she's old so hopefully uh, this sling right here turns to be a female uh, that'll be awesome even though they're slow growing species you know for a phonopalma species I can't pass that up and it was just awesome you know for $35 it was just really good so it's a three quarter inch specimen I'm gonna actually handle it if uh, it lets me. Ah, that's there's what a baby Calcotes looks like. All right, give me a second. Hmm. And that's it. That funnel Palma Calcotes Desert Blonde. I would say what about a few quarter inch sling <laughs> kind of feels funny when you're handling teas I normally don't recommend it because it's not a good idea to handle them but it's pretty docile for one a lot better tempered than mine so let's go put her back <laughs> cute I think she's gonna do well all right, next one. Uh, I have to transfer this one. I don't have a cage yet, but I'm preparing one. Uh, remember that bee vagans I showed you? And uh, Reptilius uh, Dion wanted me to get this one. And it's true because I've been long searching for a female and I actually found one. So this is what his big Brachypelma vagans looks like. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to open it up and let you see for yourself. This is a mature female. Big V Baggins. This is like I would say five and a half inches, maybe six. Nice. And now this one here is this hybrid. Uh, the Brachypalma Vagans Cross for Desi. A lot of people love asked me to get this one because it was absolutely beautiful. Um, a little short story. <coughs> Excuse me. E-Man didn't really want to sell the female because it was just too pressure for him and you know I completely understand. I could probably relate to that. So I said you know what since you treasure it so much don't buy it for me I'll be more than happy to purchase one of your smaller ones. And this one here is a juvenile female. Uh, I would say around two inches. Uh, this one here, yeah, it's called the Mexican Fantasy, and I'll actually handle it. This one's actually very, very calm. And I'm not going to breed these. Cause I really don't want to condone uh, breeding hybrids. But 
I just wanted to show you how bracket pelmas are really awesome handling pets, uh, more so than your typical Gramostola or um, your Evicolaria. Some of them can be really nervous. Like Biobalpolosum are really great pets. Uh, also, B. Smithy, B. Melia. There we go. There we go. Alright, time to put her back. So, don't know what to call her yet, but I think Fantasia would be a nice one. Sweet. Cool. Alright, so uh, that's all I have for now. So, next. Uh, video is going to rehouse the uh, beat wagons. It's going to be interesting. Alright guys, see you later.